Hi everyone, my name is Shai, sometimes known as Shai Tai, at least that's what my daughter likes to call me these days, and in today's video I want to give you a complete massage in seated postures. This is Tayoko's massage techniques for the shoulder and back. It's a full tutorial. I'm going to walk you through it step by step so that by the time you're done, if you follow along, you'll know how to give an incredible massage that targets the entire body from a seated position. So really there's incredible things for the shoulders, the neck, the head, the back, and the hips. And this is what I teach in my professional Thai 101 training. And I just wanted to share it here with you, my wonderful YouTube followers, to get you practicing and to give you an incredible taste of what Thai massage is, how good it is for you to give while your partner receives. And one of the key things to be able to do this at home, as you'll see in the video, is props. So I want you to create a really good massage surface, something that will be good for your knee, something with some good padding, and have lots of pillows around as well to support your body and your partner's body. And you'll see that in the video as well, how I really like to use props for creating professional boundaries as well as comfort and care in giving the massage. So that's it. Without further ado, we're going to shift over to the full techniques, and I really hope you like it. And then when you're done watching it, I would love to hear your comments, your questions below. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and just let me know what you think and keep the conversation going. Thank you so much, and enjoy the video. And let's begin setting up in Namaskar. Hands together, set an intention, and maybe give some guided words to your partner rounding into the practice and we'll begin with palming shoulders one hand on the shoulder bring your blanket in and turn one of your legs so that the outside is facing the spine thumbs right next to your fingers hands where the shoulder meets the neck easing into palming shoulders alternating your pressure first a lot lighter than what they've asked for with your fingers pointing forward to the side and down the back second time through sink in more deeply closer to her level of pressure that she's asked for and checking in you want to sink in gradually and when you release release gradually as well make sure your shoulders are right over your hands This can be done with palming or soft fists. ABCs of the practice, arms straight, back straight, chin forward. Continuing with Udana stretch, raising the arms up, and as they come up, your hands cross in front of her forearms, taking either hand and lifting her first straight up and then back, first time through, lighter than her full stretch, second time through, taking her deeper and perhaps checking in. Remember to step back with your back foot as you ease into this first two variations the first one you can keep the hands right on your body or if the hands are coming right onto your chest then hold her hands up in front of your body third version you can ask her to put her hands on her shoulders bring her elbows pointing straight up let your hands come in front of the elbows and lift straight up and back as well just remember not to grip the triceps with your fingers so that you're not pulling on any sensitive skin. And from here, allowing the hands to come back into her lap, supporting your partner and that blanket or pillow as you ease in, adjust, bring in a bolster if you need to for height adjustments, and then we're setting up for the rolling pin. You want to be like a wing chair. If it works out, that you've got the right height, her arm goes over your thigh, and then we can start to do the rolling pin. So as we begin the rolling pin, palm faces down, sink in right where the shoulder meets the neck, and you can always start with 
being like a butter knife, letting your forearm go back and forth, or circling into it, and then sinking in with your pressure, and roll. Any tension areas, and there usually are very many, you can always go back to that rolling, or being like a butter knife, before you sink in with deeper pressure. Since there usually is a lot of tension, this is a good place to check in again for the pressure. And then as the tissue begins to soften, slow it down. Pause, sink in. You can also bend your forearm and put a finger under the collarbone to move into areas more in the back of the shoulder or the trapezius. Sweeping it all out, allowing the head to come back up to center, and greasing the shoulder. Raising that arm up, one hand on the elbow, one hand on the forearm, going in both directions, smaller circles to begin with, and then opening it up and going again in both directions. Slow it down as you get closer to her full rotation. Shifting into cow face one, hand slides down to the elbow, two hands on the elbow, ask for the breath, inhale, and as she exhales, stretch. Short pause to begin with, second time through, you can start to lengthen the pause, third time through, hold it even longer, and then start to squeeze down the tricep. And if they're open enough, you can add in the bonus of using your soft fist or your palms. You can make circles under the armpit. And if they're still open enough, you can push in there and extend the stretch just a little bit more. Opening up the whole side of the body. Sweep it all out. Guide the arm back into the lap. Guide the other arm back into the lap, support your partner, change sides. Setting up for your second side, guiding the head again off to the side. That hand that's holding the head should be a really supportive hand, no pulling. And again, starting your rolling pin. Ease into each spot. And as that tissue softens, really pause, slow it down. But before it does, be like that butter knife, roll into those places. Only if someone likes that deep pressure can you sink in and pause a little longer into each spot. Two angles with your forearm parallel to the mat, rolling more on the top of the shoulder towards the back, but if you bend your elbow you can find spots even more in the back of the shoulder. head to the shoulder, you allow your forearm to start somewhere in the middle of the shoulder. Sink in the same way and then roll towards the edge, just making sure that you don't roll over the bones. giving it all a nice sweep. Head comes back to center, hand on the elbow, raise the arm up, take the wrist, greasing the shoulder.
start with smaller circles and then bring her closer to her full rotation and slow it down and especially if you notice any restriction of movement in that shoulder cow face one two hands on the elbow as you guide her into the stretch As you squeeze out tension down the arm, just make sure you don't go too close to the armpit. But once you are done squeezing the arm, you can go below the armpit for those sweet circles along the side of the rib cage. Just find soft spots where you can sink in a little bit. Sweeping it all out and then guiding that arm back. Gently let it come back into the lap as well as the other one and we're shifting into the rowboat. Out comes the blanket. Remember not to let go of your partner as you shift into sitting all the way on the mat. Try to remember to bring those arms to the side of the body before you sit down and then coming to seated let your feet come onto the back on either side of the spine. And once you've got your hands in position, slide your or your feet into position, slide your hands down and take the wrists. Feet come up off the ground just a little bit. And each spot we're going to press in a few times. A little lighter with the first press. Release after a one or two second pause and repeat. And as their back relaxes into it, you can usually extend those pauses two or three seconds or more. And if you need to come in closer, just keep holding on to the arms, and then take your feet off and inch yourself in. You always want to have your knees bent a little bit with each press. So with a long back, if your legs start to get too straight, come on in a little closer. You want to keep your weight forward. So feeling the sits bone under you, always have your weight forward. Try to keep your back straight. Try not to grip her wrist very much or very strongly. Just one or two fingers gripping. And keep your partner either straight or tilted forward just a little bit. As you finish up, allow the hands to come down and coming up without letting go getting ready for the prayer pose you want to be in warrior and we're going to check in with our partner to see if they need to have any adjustments bring in any pillows or have them change how they're sitting and then again we'll ease into this with some repetition start by bringing the arms forward and then put your hands on the back to bring her the rest of the way so the first round just a few seconds maybe a couple of short presses bring her up nice and tall with a hand on the shoulder or two hands on the shoulder you can even squeeze it out and check in and see if she wants to make any adjustments and then we'll do it at least one more time so for partners who are very flexible maybe just one extra time here is all that's needed for those who are tighter We'll then repeat that process as many times as is needed. We want to use all of our stances here to get into the lower back. That is usually going to mean diamond stance. Could even mean using your feet for partners who won't go too far forward. And then cycle through to kneeling diamond, warrior, standing. For each spot, especially in that lower back tired overused muscles really nice to start with some circling with one palm at a time alternating your pressure from one hand to the other before you go into palm hopping pressing with both hands at the same time you can go as high as to in between those shoulder blades or as far f as you can comfortably reach. As 
So in this case, my partner could go forward but needed a little break part way through. So bringing her up, checking in, seeing if she wants to adjust how she's seat sitting. She's chosen to straighten her legs. So we're going to bring in more props for this because she won't go as far forward. Guiding her into it. And then I'm going to continue from where I left off. Starting from the top of the back, I'm going to palm my way back down. arm straight, back straight, chin up, and you can use soft fists instead of palming at any time. Protect your wrists. If your wrists are bending too much, then it's always better to use those soft fists as you finish up lots of sweeping, making her nice and tall, and then you can squeeze it out, you can open her shoulders back up, you can sweep those sh shoulders and back even more, Give that great time to adjust and transition. If they're sitting on a blanket, you can take it out by just bringing them forward, pulling the blanket out, and then getting ready to transition into laying her down. Take out any props that are on her body Hold on and move back. You want to move as far back as you can and then let her know you're going to bring her back. One hand turns up to the head, one hand between the shoulder blades. Keep your elbows into your body and slowly bring her down so that her head ends up right on the front of your thighs, right over your knees. Pause here. Give her neck a chance to adjust and then we can bring her all the way down to the mat and do a catwalk. So palming onto those shoulders, we're going to be working across the band here. Go with each shoulder one at a time first. And then if you notice that they're open enough across this band, then you can press on both at the same time and start to lengthen those pauses. Check in about if they'd like to have a pillow under their head. You can do this before you take the head off your knees or just as you finish up here. Simply raise the head up and bring in a bolster or a pillow. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you're gonna practice it. If there's one thing I would say, if you just wanna practice one thing, my, probably my absolute favorite is the rolling pin on the shoulders. That's where I massage the neck and the shoulders using my forearm and the part close to my elbow. It might look really simple. It does take a little bit of practice so to really refine it and be able to get lots of tension spots. But something I like to say about that move, it's such an incredible way to make friends. It's such an incredible technique to give to your friends and family. So really practice. Practice first on a pillow. Practice on your own thigh to just kind of feel what it feels like to make contact with your forearm, make contact with your elbow, and then start practicing on people. When you practice on people, start with lighter pressure, really dialogue and see how things are feeling before you increase the pressure gradually. That's it for today. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, once again, please leave it below. I always like to read the questions. I love to hear your ideas. I love to hear your feedback and it helps me to support you as well. And please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, my YouTube page. We publish new videos every week. And this is the first in a series. There are going to be uh, really techniques for giving a full body massage. And we started with seated and then we go from there. So thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.